We all know that it takes a lot more work to look like you're not wearing any makeup than it does to look like you're wearing a whole bunch. This tutorial will show you how to get a supernatural look using some great techniques and tips to make it look like you didn't even try and to look flawless during all of your fun summer activities. I was inspired by Natalie Portman and Thor and her simple girl next door look that was at the same time flawless so I hope you guys enjoy and if you have any questions let me know thanks for watching you're gonna want to do a little bit of blush now you have to think about the color that you naturally flush to so I'm a very pinky person I'm gonna wear a pink blush if you are a little more olive tone and you tend to get you know a little more like warm and flushed or you get pick up a tan more easily and that's the color you want to draw out go with that. Go with whatever color is most natural to you. I know that for me the most natural color blush I can wear is something that's really light and pinky like that just because my skin has so much like pink undertone to it so it tends to look really subtle and natural on me. Um, I'm using a small like a MAC 109 brush but you can use whichever blush brush you like and with a natural blush look you really want to just focus on the center of the cheeks this is mostly just to add in any color that we lost when we did the foundation and that's pretty much it. You can see I've just picked up like a little bit of color. You don't want to go overboard. You just need to add that dimension back into the face. Whenever you do a foundation and you even everything out, if you don't put on blush, you tend to look a little washed out. The next thing we're going to do is the eyes. Now this is the trickiest part. When you're staying natural with your eyes, if you put any eyeshadow on, it needs to be completely neutral and subtle. My favorite like little technique tip is to use a really good eye base. I really like this one by Trish McAvoy, the Eye Base Essential. She has a new color called Rested, which I like. It's very neutral pinky, but find something that, again, mimics the natural color of your skin. You don't want to go too light. You can brighten a little bit, but if you go too, too light, it's going to give you that kind of ghost look around the eyes where everything is just light and it doesn't really fit. Um, I love this stuff because it dries to a powder finish, which is pretty important. It's a great eyeshadow base, but also just on its own, it's really nice. So you just use your finger, smell your lid, just use your finger, kind of smooth it out. Take it all the way to up under the brow. And now you can wear that on its own. See how that's already kind of just smoothed out this lid? It's given it like this perfect canvas. It's a lot more coverage than like a foundation and it doesn't crease up so it's going to stay looking natural and fresh all day. I like to do after this is go over it with a powder to set it. The one I'm putting on today does have a little bit of shimmer. It's Vapor by MAC. It just kind of has a fresh shimmer and I'm just using a big brush. This is like the Cargo number no. 8 brush but you know a 252 for a MAC would work fine. Anything that you use just to cover the whole lid at once. I just take that over that entire surface. I'm using the Laura Mercier crease brush. This is kind of like a 219 for MAC, but a little bigger. Laura Mercier makes one like this. Chanel makes one like this. It's a really nice brush for in the crease. It's probably closest to like the 217 for MAC, but just as a size comparison, it's a little smaller. It's just like a little more detail work. This is the 219, which is a little smaller than this guy. So somewhere in the middle of there. Now, the color I'm using is called Soft Brown. It is a very matte very subtle effect. Put a little bit of this guy in there and all we're doing is defining this outer crease. So pick something that's a couple shades darker than your skin. So it's going to look kind of intense but we're going to blend this out. So that's it's going to look like kind of a lot right now. But what I'm going to do is take a 217 for MAC and that vapor again and I'm going to go right over the top of it and blend until you literally can barely see it until it just kind of looks like a shadow. See that? See it's just kind of given a little shape to the lid. Now this next step is a specific technique, it's called tight lining, and 
If you're not familiar with it, it is a technique of applying eyeliner from the bottom of the lashes right into the lash line so that from the top you can't really see the liner at all. It's not exactly on the waterline as much as, as much as it's right on that skin where the lash is attached. So you're trying to get it right in between each lash. My favorite one to do this with is by Laura Mercier. I have it in this palette. And it's um, the Black Ebony Cake Liner. The brush you need to use is like a flat eyeliner brush. So MAC makes one, I can't remember the number, but you know, something where you're coming like this with a flat liner. I like the Laura Mercier one personally. I feel like it's really narrow. What you do is you need to just use a little water. I just have some in a mug. Dip your brush in. Then you go into the cake liner. Just draw the brush along the top of it. You're going to see this on the tip. Then I'm just going from the bottom. I'm just pressing it into the lashes. It's almost as if you're combing through your lashes. From straight on, I have this lash line is way more defined, but from the top you can't see anything. From the bottom, you can kind of see how that liner has defined everything. That liner is just going to be on the top lash line. We're not going to put it on the bottom at all because then you could see it. You can only kind of get away with it on the top lash line because as the eye looks in, it's hidden by these longer, fuller lashes on the top. 100% mascara is going to make or break this natural look. That's why it's so key to get every layer of the mascara in. My favorite layer and the most important one is the base. I've been using the Dior base. I love it. It's called the um, Dior Show Maximizer Lash Plumping Serum. It not only conditions the lashes, it combs out each lash and I feel like it actually just gives so much more volume but without getting clumpy. So I put this on first. If you like to curl your lashes, do it before this base. I'm a big fan of layering mascaras. If you like to use just one mascara, that's perfectly fine too. That'll probably give you an even more subtle look, but I really like to play up mascaras. So I typically do my base, and then I'm gonna do some sort of a mascara that gives me some separation, like a lengthening formula, like for example, um, Long Comb Definicils, or Dior Show Iconic. The one that I'm using today, it's actually an intense version, but it's the Oscillating Intensity from Long Comb. I really like this one because it has that oscillation and the comb has these little tiny teeth in it that really pick through each lash. Now this on its own could be enough if you want drama because the intensity version of the oscillation is a much deeper pigment, it's a little bit thicker. But after I do this I'm going to put on one more coat um, just for a little extra oomph. But I'll show you how dramatic this one is, I love this mascara. So you kind of just press it and then it's going to vibrate. I don't know if you can see that, but it'll vibrate. You don't really have to wiggle it too much because it does that work for you. Kind of lift it up along the lashes. So on its own, that's a really pretty mascara. It's giving me tons of extra drama and really picked each lash apart. I, of course, am a mascara fiend, so I have to do another coat. I'm going to do the Dior Show Extase. I love this mascara. Put a little extra coat of this on. That's basically it for, you know, the eyes. We've done that really subtle shadow, the base, the tight lining, and then these lashes, and that's going to be it. Guys, now the only thing left is lips. Typically, I would say go for a gloss, something really simple. If you want to do a stain, you could do that too. Another trick I love is um, to use a lipstick that's a little more dramatic and then use that as a stain. So this is a Chanel lipstick called Attitude. Then I'm going to take a tissue. And instead of blotting, I'm literally going to wipe it off. This is one of my favorite Chanel glosses. It's called Sundress. It's just a really simple 
sheer light pink. So this is the finished look. It's a super easy to execute, flawless, natural face. The whole idea is that nobody will know that you're wearing makeup. Um, it's a great look to wear all summer long, especially if you're hanging out with someone that you don't want to look like you tried too hard. Um, it's a really, really fun look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Go out and wear it and let me know how it goes. Thanks so much for watching.